I got, I still get destroyed for it. No one even heard of it. I got destroyed for it for five years. Kevin Samuels passes. As far as I know, Kevin Samuels didn't have allegations of violence or, or he didn't have physical acts that he committed against women or children. People are acting like he really physically harmed women and children. It's crazy. Well, all of it is this. Congratulations. You played yourself. Our staff, you got anything on the list today? Yes. Um, so going from that pretty much yeah that was kind of my reaction and that should be most neutral reactions to anyone who didn't know who he was or didn't have much information in that regard this is how you should do research and due diligence when it comes down to it now he didn't do any research but at the end of the day he looked behind made sure checked and, and this is what i mean by due diligence where you check behind and you make sure information everything around this man was hype uh from his detractors to some of his supporters however when it came down to it his message was based purely in information and statistics so i did kind of find it weird that despite him being this type of person and basing his lifestyle as well as his message and how he carried himself around this stuff that at the end of the day he, he, people reacted like that it, it was still kind of weird and to be honest honestly they ended up hurting themselves can i be real can i be honest they hurt themselves when they tried to add negative rhetoric to someone who wasn't I mean, it's just like the Dave Chappelle joke, or not even joke, but when he talked about in the special about Daphne and he talked about the transsexual who uh, passed uh, basically because she didn't like how she was being treated and because they tried to overgeneralize a problem and make it seem like a threat without actually taking a closer look or anything else to that nature, they made themselves look bad in the end. And this is really no different, ultimately. I mean, you, you want people to empathize and work with you and understand that you have to build from that, not say, oh, do what I say because you should feel bad. That's the quickest way to make an enemy. Yeah, I mean, out of in, if no one knows you, that's the quickest way to make an enemy. So yeah, that was just a clip, but it was a more neutral clip. And at the end of the day, the first part I actually did not have in here, but he actually talked about, was it this guy right here actually talked about how he himself, you know, because we all have biases, he himself has some biases, yeah, biases. However, when someone is dead or they pass, it, it's a different story altogether. You don't just lie on someone dead, but this is them attacking his estate, you know, and just like with other situations, we may never know the truth on how certain things, but here, everything's out there. Everything is out there. And to lie on a dead man when there's proof about what happened and went down is completely different. Yeah, I don't see how anyone can kind of root for the tractors here and the divestors and all those other people who say X, Y, and Z about him when he made everything as clear as day.